I'm going to show you how to make custom intros for your videos online without the need of being some expert editor. Special thanks to Render Forest for sponsoring this video. With Render Forest, it's easy to make intros, explainer videos, typography effects, and more from your phone or computer. Save 20% on annual plans when you click the link in the description. Now, if you have a logo already or you're planning to use your YouTube profile picture for this intro, you can skip ahead to this point in the video. But if you don't have a logo designed yet, Render Forest makes it insanely easy. For this process, click the link in the description. It'll redirect you to renderforest.com and then just go under logos and then click make logo. Now, there are two different ways that Render Forest can make us a logo. The first way is that it's AI will design a logo for us. So all we have to do is enter our brand name, which I'll do here and click get my logo. I'll then add a tagline, which I'll just do my website, colinmichael.com. And then I just need to describe in like one to two sentences what my brand's about, what I kind of do so it can better design. So I teach video editing and filmmaking. I'm a YouTuber with a passion for cameras. That should be enough keywords for it to kind of figure out what kind of logo I should go for. And then I can click the next button here. And now I can decide if I just want the AI to pick for me. Otherwise, I can kind of choose here what kind of style I'm looking for. If I'm looking for something minimal with a gradient, you know, I can, I'm just gonna let the AI choose this time, but you do have these options here. So we'll click next. And literally along the left side now, I have all of these logos that it has designed for me. So I'm just gonna scroll through and take a look at a few of these. Now, out of all of these logos, I'm really liking this one here. I like how this camera looks. And now what I can do is click edit and download. Otherwise, if I want to, I can create from blank and just completely design this myself. But let's click edit and download. And now inside of here, I can change my text. If I wanna rechange my company name, I can also go through and change the font. I can also change the colors here for the text, the tagline, and the icon. So if I click on this, I can even change this out of black and make it a blue color, which I kind of actually like it being a faded off dark blue here. Something like that looks good. Uh, and then I can also go to the icon section here and I can search for icons. So if I search something like video, just cause I'm all about video editing, I get a whole bunch of logos here that I can scroll through and possibly add in replacement of this. Which actually, after looking at this, I'm really digging this one. It kind of looks like a YouTube logo. So I'm gonna click on that. I can click on this and resize it to the size that I want. I'm going to line it up there. I'm gonna go over to color, and now I'm gonna change it over to red, just so I have that red YouTube kind of logo. And then I'm gonna change the font to something like this. I might resize this here. All right, and now that we're done with this logo, I can click download and I'm given three options here how to export. Now I am on one of the premium versions of Render Forest, so I'm gonna export as this just so I have all of these high quality PNG and SVG as well as the commercial usage, which is what I'm looking for. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Keep in mind, if you wanna do the premium export, you can click my link in the description and get 20% off the annual plans. And with our logo done, it's now time to design our intro, which if you haven't already, click that link down below in the description and it'll redirect you to the Render Forest website. Now, all we have to do is go under videos and then under intros. Now I'm going to show you two different intro types you can make, one with a logo, if you have a specific logo that you're wanting to use, as well as one if you have a YouTube profile picture that you wanna have as part of the intro. Both of these might inspire you, so it's worth it to watch both of them, but what we're gonna do is focus on the logo one first, and while we're on here, we can actually scroll up and down through just the ones, these are actually sorted by trending, so we can scroll through and take a look at some of these trending ones, we can hover our mouse over the top and it'll actually demonstrate what that intro is going to look like. We can also scroll to the top and under, if we hover our mouse right over this intros and logos, it'll show us 3D logo reveals, YouTube intros, corporate logo reveals, cinematic intros. So we get a whole bunch of different options here for, for our intro here. What you can also do is just go to the search bar and search for whatever topic. So for example, sports, I can hover over this baseball one and this would take forever in any other kind of editor, but because this template's already made, we have this awesome baseball one, we have this hockey one where the puck
book actually has the logo on it. You know, this is crazy. And it's really just add your image, change the text, you know, you can somewhat customize it too, which is really nice. Now for my logo, what I'm actually gonna do, I wanna find a really cool 3D logo. So I'm gonna go over the 3D logo reveals for my intro, and I'm just gonna scroll through some of these. There's multiple pages here I can take a look at and just find one that really stands out to me that I can customize. And being a filmmaker, this 3D camera logo really stands out to me, looks really professional and well done. So what I'm actually gonna do is click on this, and I should be able to just click create now and it's going to take me right into the intro editor. So from here, I can see that there's going to be a logo at the end as well as some text that I can add to the bottom. So to start, I'm just going to upload my logo, the one we just designed. Now, because we have text on the bottom, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to zoom in here on just this part of my logo and line it up like so. There we go. And I'm going to click done. And then the text on the bottom here, what I'm actually going to add is Colin Michael, which is my name, but it's also my website. So by simplifying it this way, I now will have my website appear. I'm going to have my logo that people will start to get to know and that'll be all set. Now I also have the option to change font here if I want to. So right now that's the font type. Um, I can scroll through here and customize it if I want, but just because this is a template, I'm probably not gonna mess with the font that they've designed. Um, and now I can actually on the top here, this was the edit page. Uh, this was the style page where I could change the font. And then the next side here is music. Now this one comes with music, which we can actually click play on here and listen to. And that sounds good, uh, but if I wanted to, I could change it. I can make it more cinematic, classical, electronic. You know, we have this whole music library here. Uh, I can also upload my own music if I have other subscriptions to music anywhere else. But I'm gonna stick with the generic music just because it's designed for this intro. And then what we're gonna do is click over to preview. If I wanna do a fast preview quick, just to make sure I like all the changes, I can do that. Uh, but for this template, I'm just gonna export it at 1080p because I think this is gonna turn out great. All right, it's done rendering. Let's click play and take a look at our intro. Yes, let's go. Woohoo! That's awesome. Now, what if we do our profile picture and try to make an intro around that? Let's go back to the video section and go back to intros and find one for a YouTube profile. So what we're gonna do is go over to the YouTube intro section and we're gonna take a look through a few of these and see if we can find one for YouTube. So I found this really cool YouTube channel intro here where it kinda goes through a bunch of photos or videos kinda talking about your channel. But what's really cool, and you'll find this in a lot of the templates on here, when you click on them, you can actually change the version of these templates. So they have both 30 second and 15 second versions where you can have videos or photos on screen for this. So I'm gonna switch to the 15 second version where I can have the photos. And here, I'm just gonna play it just to see what this looks like. So I can have my profile picture there. I can show some uh, show some images from my channel, which will be great. And then it can flip back probably to my, my profile picture again. So let's click create now and let's make this template for our channel. Now you'll see for this, it separates it from one. And we got section two, section three, and then section four where we can add our photos. So to start, we're gonna do this one here, your photo two. And I'm just gonna upload from my files. All right, so added my first photo here, just gonna zoom in so I can crop in on it. There we go, awesome. We'll click done there. And then I can add my text here. So text number one, I'm going to add colinmichael.com right when people come to the channel. Um, and the other thing too with this is you don't have to add text here if you don't want to. So this will just show colinmichael.com and I can skip over that and go to the next section where I'll add my three photos and some text here. And just for example sake too, if you do run out of photos and you're like, I don't have any other photos I can really add here, you can always click add and do stock images as well. So if I click this, I can go into Render Forest stock image. And since I'm a video editor, let me just type in video editing. 
and I can search and I've pulled up all of these stock photos that I can use. So I'll actually just click on this one here and insert that one in. There we go, done. And now I have some editing stuff on the side here, my computer, editing, camera. This will all work out just fine. So if you do run out of photos, those stock images are super useful. And then for my text, I'm gonna do learn to film. And then for this other one here, I'm gonna do video editing. I think that works a little bit better. On to the next section. And then kind of the next part of my value proposition is like grow your audience. So I'm gonna have one of those images as me holding my YouTube play buttons here. And then for this other photo, I'm gonna find a stock image. I'm gonna type something like growth and see if I can get a nice like growing picture here and I kind of like this idea of growing with the coins here because you know we're we are talking about like growing your revenue as well so I'm going to include that as a stock image and I, again I can crop in here and adjust this so it lines up perfectly there we go I like that and then I'll add grow your audience and then for the last piece we'll do our same photo of our profile picture here there we go and then we'll do Colin Michael and then Colin Michael.com again. And then I'm actually just going to sneak back here and add this other stock image here just because it does communicate more filmmaking and video editing right out the gate when people see my intro. Um, I can continue on and style this further and change the fonts, but I'm going to leave it as is. Same with the music, just because the music does kind of go with that intro. Um, and then in the preview section, we're going to export at that 1080p and we will take a look at this intro. All right, YouTube logo, poof, our picture. Ooh, I love that in the background. That is awesome. Got the camera, the editing, learn to film, video editing, grow your audience. Whew, that is solid. Now you'll want to keep in mind with your intro that you want to first hook your viewer in then show your intro, and then you'll wanna try and keep them engaged for the rest of your video, which is what Render Forest can actually help you with. From animated explainer videos, to typography packs for engaging text animations, even design packs for making short form content, like for stories, reels, shorts, and TikToks. There's a lot of incredible templates that you can use within Render Forest. And with a variety of pricing options to choose from, there's something here for you wherever you are on your YouTube creator journey. Now be sure to click the link in the description so you can try out Render Forest and save 20% on their annual plans. And with that being said, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.